What kind of vacuums should we use as professional house cleaners? This is a great question, and we're going to talk about it today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is brought to us by House Call Pro, which is the number one service software for service professionals. And it is a, an app that runs on your phone, runs on your computer, and they sync together so that when you are the boss, you can dispatch your employees on jobs and they have the same information that is all the customer updated information along with texts and follow up and how you're going to get in touch with the customer and then also your one click credit card processing after the job is over. And so it's a great way to streamline all of the details that you do on a regular everyday basis that have everything to do with your job. So check it out at housecallpro.com forward slash Angela. All right, on to today's show. We have a house cleaner that called in and asked this question. Hi, Angela. I'm just wondering what vacuum should we use as a house cleaner? Because I know some people think if you use a bagless vacuum that you're unprofessional. All right, now this answer is going to be a little bit unpopular because there are a lot of house cleaning companies that swear by the vacuums that they use. All right, we live in a post-COVID-19 world. And so from here, moving forward, I want you to think about vacuums a little bit differently than we have in the past. Now, it's always been my preference to use the customer's vacuum when I go to their house. And we've trained everybody in our network to do the same. So instead of us carrying vacuums into people's homes and vacuuming the home because we know that our vacuums are in good shape, number one, we know that they're emptied, we know that we've taken care of them and that they work and they have good suction power, what we're doing is we're trusting that our customers will invest in a good vacuum that they will leave at their house, they can use it between our visits, and then we can use it when we come. Here's the reason I prefer to use the customer's vacuum. If I live in a house where I have no pets and no children and my house is pretty clean, and there are a couple people that live down the street and they've got five kids and four dogs, what's gonna happen when we go to their house, use the house cleaner's vacuum, they're gonna be running it all over their floors and it's gonna be sucking up dog hair and maybe food, bits of food that have dropped on the floor and all kinds of things, then you're gonna bring that in and you're gonna run that all over my carpets. Okay, so those wheels and the, the base plate of the vacuum, all of the bottom part of the vacuum that touches their carpets is now touching my carpet. And I don't see that as a very sanitary process, which is the reasons why we do not like to carry vacuums inside people's homes. Now, there is a way to disinfect and to sanitize and to clean your vacuum from top to bottom and empty it out and all those things. And we do have a clean vacuum in the back of our car in the event that for some reason we get to a customer's house and their vacuum is broke or something bad happens to their vacuum. Okay, we have a backup in our car, but the goal is to never bring it inside because once you use it, you've got to take it apart, you've got to clean the whole thing and wipe it all down so that you're not spreading those germs in the next customer's home. So one of the things that we do on our walkthrough is we ask the customer, can I take a look at your vacuum while I'm here? And if it's not a modern vacuum, and I say a modern vacuum because there are people that swear by their 30 year old Kirby's. Yay that your Kirby is still alive, but it is heavy, they're clunky, people run them into doors and they bang them into the walls, carrying them up the stairs and all this stuff. A normal everyday modern house cleaner needs an everyday normal modern vacuum. There are lots of vacuums on the market that you can get for two to three to $400 very inexpensive. And they are the equivalent of two or three cleanings. So for the price of two or three cleanings, you get to own the vacuum. And then when your house cleaner comes, the vacuum is inside your house. So it's not cross-contaminated by anything. Now, here's the thing about carrying a vacuum as a house cleaner. If you're carrying a vacuum from house to house to house, there has to be some way during the day that you can stop and wipe it all down and sanitize it and all that stuff between each house, right? No that there's not enough time. Time is of the essence in the cleaning business, and that probably does not happen in most cases. So if a house cleaner is bringing a vacuum in, they're probably bringing it from the last house and the house before that, and it's been all over who knows whose carpets. And I'm not saying your neighbors are germy, but right now we are in an era of heightened germ awareness, okay? So if you have a great vacuum, awesome. Please offer it to your house cleaner and say, would you like to use my vacuum when you come to clean my house? and then keep all of your own germs inside your own house. And so that would be awesome, number one. So is a bagless vacuum make you unprofessional? No, there are a whole lot of bagless vacuums that are new and they're modern 
and you simply just empty the canister at the end of the clean. Now, as a professional house cleaner, we've also trained all of the cleaners in our network to empty that canister at the end of each clean. So if I come to your house and I clean your floor before I leave, I'm going to empty the canister of your vacuum and I'm going to put it all back together. I'm going to wipe the outside of it down so that it's good to go back inside your broom closet so that you can use it between now and the time I come again. But I can't tell you how many times I've come to clean people's houses. It's two weeks later and the vacuum is still empty. They haven't even used it between, between visits. So if that's the case, then it's always going to be ready for you when you get there. But if there's something that happens, the homeowner is responsible for their own vacuum. This belongs to them. This is their vacuum. You're simply using it when you come. So if the vacuum breaks while you're using it, it's of the understanding. It's normal wear and tear. Okay, house cleaners are trained to be careful with their equipment. And there's a proper way to carry the vacuum up and down the stairs so you don't bust off the handle or bust off the canister or whatever while you're carrying it. So if you don't have proper training, come over to our learning library and learn how to properly train yourself to use vacuums. But there are a lot of vacuums on the market that are really awesome. And my recommendation is to use the homeowner's vacuum as a house cleaner. That would be my recommendation. Alrighty, that's it for today. I hope that helps a little bit. If it does, please pass this on to a friend. If we've earned your subscription, please subscribe. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.